Did you know it's a federal crime to make an unreasonable gesture to a passing horse or other pack animals on public land? What is an unreasonable gesture? Does a horse really consider it unreasonable? Who is it unreasonable to? Probably there's a reason for the regulation, but it's not always clear from the face of the regulation itself. So by day, I am a white collar criminal defense lawyer, but in the dark of night, for the last three years anonymously, I've been operating under the Twitter handle at Crime A Day. And I tweet a federal crime every day. 18 U.S.C. 1865 and 36 CFR 7.75 subsection E3 make it a federal crime to tow a person behind a vehicle in a box on the Padre Island seashore. Without question, food crimes are probably the funniest because they're so specific. 21 U.S.C. section 343 subsection H, 21 CFR section 152.126 subsection A3 make it a federal crime to sell a frozen cherry tart if its diameter is more than four inches. Macaroni has to be tubular in shape and it has to have a diameter of more than 0.11 inches, but not more than 0.27 inches. Pasteurized processed cheese has to have a velvety body. That sounds like something somebody requires on a dating app, not food regulation. The natural question is gonna be, why do these regulations have to be so specific? The real reason is to standardize certain food products, to make sure that when somebody advertises something as something, it is that thing. I've been accused of being a robot. I've been accused of being a complex computer algorithm, uh, which is not true at all. Um, I'm just a guy who you know, thinks cheese crimes are funny. <laughs>